Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's a great day. It is time once again to visit with Brian Duffy as uh, over the next several weeks, uh, actually probably uh, next several months, depending on how the many things are going. Candidates <laughs> jump into the race here. Yes. Brian's going to show you the process of how some of these political cartoons are created because it's really neat to see coming from from your standpoint of how you develop these creations. Yeah, and it must and it must be disconcerting to people. I know that it is to politicians when you have somebody that are that's looking at your face in a way in which you know that they're trying to find something that stands out to make you look funny. Like <laughs> that's right. So to put a smile on others faces. Yes, yes, it's not it's not a positive art form. No. Let's put it that way. Um, and today I was all set to do uh, Jeb Bush. Mm. Well, I was going to ask now that you've had three guys who kind of have similar features is it easier to draw him because you've already been doing it for a while. Oh no, he's completely different. With dad and brother. Oh, oh okay. completely different. There is some facial uh, characteristics that are similar between George H.W. Bush and W. But there's not a lot of them with uh, with Jeb. With Jeb. I think it's a, he's more of a combination of his mother and his father, but more of his mother's face. So, um, but we'll be drawing him later on. Oh, later. Okay, <laughs> okay. we'll yes. wait and for The Jeb. reason for that is if anybody watched uh, Jon Stewart the other night, you know, he was talking about there's a person that's running for president. Mm -hmm. But I first, before I can talk about him, I first have to have the meals, because if you're a parent, you know that you have to have a meal before you can have dessert. I'm an adult, my kids are grown, I'm going for the dessert. Okay. <laughs> and the dessert this time is Donald Trump. There you go. <laughs> you can't pass on you that. You cannot pass on no. Donald Trump. I mean, it's uh, it, it, he's the complete package. He has everything going. He's got the hair. He's got the face. He's got the sayings. He's got everything. Yeah. So, and also, I'm you know, if you say or say something about him. He immediately takes offense to it, no matter yeah. who it is. What you know, even what, on what Twitter, it, he'll respond to people. Oh, extremely you know. so. Yeah. Well, we were just saying yesterday, no matter what you feel about him or think of him, we're just excited because he makes it more entertaining. He does. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, is this entertainment or is or is this supposed to be governing? Well, <laughs> so, what are you looking for with your candidate? Well, That's being the in the media, entertainment. As I say, yeah, being yeah, yeah, being in our we position. Time, we got four hours to fill here. <laughs> okay. Well, I. So I, how do you I start agree. with a man that has so much to give? Well, you start with the most uh, with with the feature that stands out the most. And for me, that's that extremely unique hairstyle. I will say it looks has. more real when you see him in person. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Except there's there. You know, he, what he does is he weaves it uh, in a way that that uh, that looks like the Southeast Polk football helmet. There. Uh, for, well, yeah, yeah because that's a, that's one of his uh, that's one of the weave parts. It, oh, it is real. Uh, it's, it is it's, real. It's, it's it generally looks like a comb over, though you have to admit. So. I wish somebody could capture video of him doing his hair in the morning just to see what well, I'm pretty what sure goes he on. doesn't do his hair. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that he, he does his own hair. However, um, there are some pictures, uh, you can Google it, uh, that show what happens when the wind catches his oh, hair. Yes, oh, yes, I've seen yeah. those, and yes. they are fantastic. Oh, they are. Like so, David Spade. Exactly. So I always, I, you know, I, I always start out with Looks like one of those hair bales, those, those round yeah. bales. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Very Iowan. Or a ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> I he seems to love days. Iowa, though. He's excited to keep coming back and. See, now I can see it, the curve of the face. To tell everybody. Uh, he's got all of my chance. What he's going to do. Well, yeah, it's. Uh, and how wealthy he is. That's the thing. The other problem, though, is that when he initially had mentioned that he was uh, interested in running for the presidency, this was back uh, in 1999. Um, everybody thought, well, is he really interested in it? Uh, he's a he's a germaphobe, so I don't know how that's oh, really. Is oh, he yeah. really? Oh, oh gosh, yes. Now, now what either. stood out about his eyes? Um, I like the bags. Huh. A little bit of the bags under the eyes, but like uh, there's a couple of things that unfortunately I can't show because this one's in black and white. I'm going to start bringing color markers there you too, because the orange would have really stood out. His eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, in fact, they they actually come up and they meet the hairline. Really? Oh, they oh, do. Yes. Like oh, Andy yeah. Rooney-ish. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Except you know, as a cartoonist, I can make them go higher. Right. <laughs> you can make them touch. I can right. make them the touch. The privilege of being a cartoonist. Yes. And not a not a very big nose that he has. Yeah, he kind of cried wolf so many times. People didn't know if he right. was, we could take him too seriously. Yeah, and the stunning thing is this time. They're going to have to take him seriously. Now, in the debates, it's going to be interesting because, as he says, he really doesn't have anything to lose in those. So, 
God knows what he's going to bring up. God knows what he's going to say. And he's, you know, he's always, he's always hypercritical of... Well, there's going to be 10 people on the stage at these things. Well, well he has to get now. enough percentage 12, yeah. points to get on that stage, first I think of he'll all. be able to. He I think will? He, I think he will. Yeah. I think he'll get the top 10, yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 I think so. I think he'll, yeah, I definitely think that he'll also get to the top 10. I'll throw my straw in his it, little tin it, just to see him debate. Well, that's true. Yeah. I, it's, I'll watch the debate if mm -hmm. he's going to be there mm -hmm. just because... That's you, just the reason. You don't know what's going to come out of his right. mouth. I right. love the lips. And he doesn't yeah, have to worry about it. So that's that's the that's going to be the interesting aspect. Of Almost this. looks like uh, Paul Stanley from Kiss Lips. <laughs> no, say, lips. no offense, Almost. but he kind of looks a little drag queenish. <laughs> I don't know. You and expect I mean him to be on the show? <laughs> and, you mean, and I mean that in the good way. Seriously, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is he invited? Yes. Yes. Will he, he has come? guts. He'll show up, but I, I don't think he does. Well, and that's the other thing is that. You know, he's a brash person to begin with. You know, he goes, uh, I'll tell you, I'm rich. I'm really rich. So he gets up there and he, and, and he says things like that. Now, let's see how well that goes with Iowans who, you know, they're, they're a little, you know, braggarts are not big, uh, big in Iowa. No. So that's going to be a difficult thing. You know, a New Yorker um, and people that are used to New Yorkers can understand that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why with Chris Christie, I mean, I love the guy. I, he, just, he just kills me. But I grew up if he said so. partially in uh, <laughs> in New York and Connecticut, so I know oh, these guys. Okay. So, but yeah, and then you had to deal with the other politicians in Chicago too. So you, oh yeah, you know all so about you, you've that. got all of the uh, yeah, you all got of all all aspects of it. He's saying, as a businessman, he knows how to run big business like our. But he's government. been bankrupt. He's been bankrupt before, and he says that he's worth uh, nine billion dollars. Yeah. Um, don't know if that's true or not. Everybody is throwing out different numbers. But you know, that's is that the qualification? I'm rich. I'm really rich. Well, another aspect is can a, basically a, a now reality TV star make the transition to a much more serious position? Oh, of in this president? dumb country, absolutely. Well, because it's all a matter of votes, and if yeah. you're voting for somebody because you know who they are, unfortunately, everybody's vote is equal. Yeah, except. Um, He's going to have a hard time with this. There are, obviously, there are politicians that started out in uh, the movie business. Well, that's uh, true. I guess we can't, you know, dismay Re Reagan. Ronald Reagan, and yeah. Ronald Reagan, and, and um, anybody remember Fred Grandy? Oh, yeah. that's, that's right. Love Boat? We, I we, actually liked Fred Grandy. We were talking yeah. to him, and we want to know whether or not it would be okay to talk to him about his Love Boat days, and he says, heck, I live in the house that Gopher built when he was running for Congress. Yeah. <laughs> so, next time... What I'll do is I'll bring a little bit of orange paint in to finish this. But he's, the problem also is that he's extremely thin-skinned. And, you know, politicians have to have, yeah, have to have very, very thick skin. It, it is a tough gig for all the trouble we give them. Yeah, I mean. and uh, I, I, I think it was uh, Bill Maher had come up with uh, oh, betting dollar sign money play. There you go. With uh, betting, yeah, with betting him that uh, he was the, uh, uh, he was the, uh, the offspring of, uh, of uh, his father and uh, and a orangutan, so, <laughs> <laughs> so he got sued. <laughs> but it's uh, you know uh, Trump sued him, and you, you know you just can't do that. You just have to kind of accept that and. and and move on, and that's what politics is all about. I don't know if he has the personality to be able to deal with that. Wow. Is well that's done. Awesome. There you go, <laughs> Brian Duffy, showing you how he creates the these political characters that we're going to have. We're going to just show you how he does each and every one of these. So that is very cool. Nice. Outstanding as always, my friend. Thank you. Thank Good you. job, Thank you. buddy. Thank you. We'll be right back. It is 9:41. <laughs> You're watching Great Day Live on KCW. He's uh, looking at you. You fired. You fired. <laughs>